Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a new handbag reveal and unboxing for you. I purchased a new Celine handbag and I'd like to share it with you guys. So let's check out the unboxing. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. I want to go over the handbag with you, a little bit of the details. It came in this Celine uh, shopping bag from the store. It has like this red interior and like these linen handles. I got all of the care cards, care cards and information. So I want to go through this briefly. First, I had the hang tag that was uh, attached to the handbag. And basically, it has the style here. It's the Trio handbag in the color Fuchsia. Has the original pricing and the current price. I purchased this handbag from the Celine Woodbury Commons store, which is an outlet store in New York. So here it has the original uh, retail pricing as well as compared to the outlet price of the handbag. So that's kind of the tag that was on the bag in store. So then I have here in the Celine card. And this is my receipt, I believe. Yes. So this is my receipt. It just has typical information, store location, um, contact information. So here I wanted to mention the return policy for the outlet store. It says all items are final sale only, no returns or exchanges allowed. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. I received this card as well. So Celine. And this is the care card. So, so this card just gives you a little information about how to care for and store your handbag. And then finally I received this card from my associate and it was just, it was kind of a, a very, very nice experience. So she just wrote me a handwritten note there about our transaction, and I appreciate that personal touch. So let's get into it. So this is the handbag. Came in this beautiful Celine uh, cloth dust bag. This is a really, really beautiful dust bag. So here is my new handbag. So 
I purchased the Celine Trio handbag in the color Fuchsia. And this color is really coming up on com camera accurately. It's kind of more of a raspberry deep pink. It's not like a hot pink, neon pink color. The color is deep enough to be worn through the colder winter months, but still it's a beautiful pop of color that can be also worn during, during the spring and summer. I'm glad I really got a nice colorful bag that I can still use year round. So I think the color is actually perfect. Now, the front of the bag, to go over some details, says Celine Paris there. It has the three compartments here. So you guys know these compartments are attached via a snap. So you can completely remove the front and the back pouch. So you can wear them individually if you'd like, or again, keep the integrity of the bag and wear it as it is. Uh, constructed the three pouches connected the center pouch however is where the straps are connected by so the center pouch will always remain with the strap connected the hardware on this bag is a gold tone hardware and each section has each zipper has this leather zipper pull so here is the long strap um, this strap has six different adjustments. I currently have it on the longest, the last adjustment, which is the longest setting. So the front pouch, which is the front of the bag because it says Celine Paris right there. When you open it up, there's actually another card in here. This is kind of more about the leather, um, how to treat the bag, and it says it's the Trio Smooth Lambskin Handbag. So that's another card. So the front pouch, when we opened it, has this foam in there to use for storage. So I'm gonna save that to store the bag with the foam in it. But the interior, it has this gray lining and then the top here, if you can see that, says Celine made in Italy. Let's open the second one. The second pouch did not come with one of the phone inserts. In fact, the strap was stored inside that middle pouch. But the middle pouch as well has the Celine embossing here that says Celine made in Italy. And also the date code is on the middle compartment towards the back. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Let's see if I can get it. It's right here. The date code says FMP0134. Not sure what that stands for exactly but I'm gonna figure that out. But that's the day code inside my handbag. So I've opened the first two compartments. Let's open the third compartment. And again, has the foam insert for storage, which I will be saving. And then again, it has the embossing Celine made in Italy. So here's this handbag. This handbag I really have been eyeing since about 2012, 2013. I've really been a fan of the Trio bag. The simplicity of this handbag I think is what makes it so special. It's very just easy to wear. I think this will be an excellent bag to wear day or night or transition from a more casual look to a more sophisticated look. This is the actual smallest size that it comes with. The Celine comes in two sizes, the regular size or medium size and the small. I purchased the small, I wanted the small. I feel like the other size is a little too big to be used as like a small crossbody clutch. It's kind of, you know, quite roomy. So this is what I was looking for. So that's my overview of my new Celine Trio. I actually am going to use this bag today. So I like to pack it for you guys and let's see what fits in there together. So I've been carrying my faithful Balenciaga City and let's see, we're gonna downsize to the trio. 
So the first thing I'm going to put in the trio, or how I'm considering packing the trio, because I want to try to keep the structure of the bag. The leather is lambskin, so it's very delicate as well as super soft. So I want to try to maintain the front uh, structure and front of the bag as long as possible. I don't want to put too many bulky items in this front compartment. So for now, let's just put my phone down there. I have some earbuds, so I'm put those earbuds in there. So this is in the front compartment. The middle compartment is, I feel like, where I want to put the most oddly shaped items. Because if the middle compartment loses structure, the front and back compartment still kind of can mask that a little bit. So I want to keep the front and back compartment as kind of neat as possible and then put whatever bulky, bulkier items in the middle compartment. I have my Louis Vuitton uh, key holder. So let's see how that will look in the middle compartment. Yeah. That... That slid, slid in great. I actually put it in like this, standing up to the side. Not in the middle, but standing upright and off to the side. So, so far I have my phone and head of phone, earbuds in my the first compartment. And the second compartment has my keys. See the little thickness added there. I'm currently using my Alexander Wayne wallet. Let's just see if this would fit. Wow, it does. I don't want to use this big wallet, but I just put it in the back in the in the last compartment and it fits. You don't really even see it really through the bag. That's how it looks down in there. It's taking up quite a bit of that compartment. I am not going to carry this wallet in this handbag though. I am going to be using my Louis Vuitton clay as a wallet for now. So there we have it. That's my wallet. Now, for security, I would like to put that towards the back because it'll be, you know, against me, against my body, like my wallet. I have this Rebecca Minkoff pouch with a Z on there that um, I was using for loyalty cards, but I wanna see if I can use this as a makeup pouch just to protect the interior of my bag. I really don't wanna put my makeup items just loosely in the bag. So let's see, I've never used this as a makeup pouch, but it's flat, so that's why I'm considering it. So makeup, I would have my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder put that in the pouch a couple of lipsticks so I have my bite beauty lipstick in the color mulberry so I'll put that in there um, my NARS Dolce Vita I always carry that around and I've been w carrying around this NARS Ingrid which that's not fitting I have this roller ball by replica in the color in the color in the scent lazy sunday morning so this is two lipsticks my compact and a fragrance so let's put that in the middle compartment so now the middle compartment has the rebecca minkoff pouch as well as my keys so my starbucks after coffee mints um, I'm going to put that on top there. And I have my L'Occitane hand cream, which I love. I'm going to put that in the back compartment. Maybe if I can go towards the front. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the front. Lastly... A must is my hand sanitizer I'm currently using. This is by Crabtree and Evelyn, and it's the scent Lavender. So I'm going to put that maybe in the back to the side. And I have things standing upright 
to keep them more compact. This is how we're looking now. The bag still looks pretty. The middle is what's kind of really full with my keys and my makeup. So the last thing is sunglasses. I take sunglasses out with me all the time. So these Prada sunglasses, which I've been wearing lately, I had this in my Balenciaga. I'm switching out from wearing these anyways. I'm kind of putting them away for a little bit and trying some other glasses, but the case is scaring me. So let's just try it. Let's just put it, put the case in there just so we can see. That's how it would look if I stuffed the case on top. Still closes, but it's definitely bulky. I wouldn't want to do that. I'm sorry guys, this is a Ray-Bans case for my Club Masters. Just so I can show you guys, without the case, it's really great. But I'm gonna need some sort of sunglass carrying pouch to protect my sunglasses because I don't want to overstuff it with the case. So I have to figure that out. But for now, my bag is packed. Let's zip up the compartments so you guys can see what I have. So here is the bag packed. I still have some room to add some things. The back compartment only has the hand sanitizer and my Louis Vuitton clay. So I would end up, end up putting, I guess, my sunglasses in the back in a pouch. And the front, the middle compartment, again, is the most packed with my... So I can put these in here for now. With my keys and my makeup pouch. And then the front is the hand cream phone and headphones so guys that's how I'm gonna pack the bag and where it's for now um yeah so I am excited to start wearing this bag I'm really happy with the purchase um like I mentioned I keep saying um 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 like I mentioned in a video a while back I think it was my top three shopping hacks I mentioned outlet shopping and how I feel like people forget about some of these designer brands and some of these beautiful items we want we can purchase through outlets you just have to do a little research but as you know I purchased my even though I could travel to the outlet because it's not too far from me I ordered it over the phone and they were very accommodating very helpful and um, it was just a great kind of easy transaction also, because I purchased it over the phone and there's no Celine boutique in my state of New Jersey, they actually did not charge me tax on this item. There was no tax because there's no store in New Jersey. So all I had to do was pay for the handbag and the cost of shipping, which was like, I think, $10. The shipping was super fast. I got it the very next day. So it was like almost like overnight <laughs> processing. Again, I don't live too far from the boutique, so... Once it was in transit, it arrived. Once it was in transit, it arrived the very next day. So, yeah, there we go. I hope you guys enjoyed the reveal and unboxing and how I packed my bag. I kind of added another piece in there, how I packed my new Celine Trio. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye.